Hello and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host Kristen and today I am working on the Martha Stewart um, weaving and loom kit and I wanted to show you the weaving item I just did. It's actually like a coaster size. Um, hey, excuse my little product placement here just to show you. It's got uh, room for a nice cola can and I wanted to kind of talk real quick about what's going on with this. You've got several different connectors. I've just made this um, smaller than what they're, uh, I'm just, I tested it in a small setting. Uh, what's in the book shows a smaller square, I'm, I'm sorry, it shows a larger square and then they weave them into a baby blanket. And I, I actually wanted to get as many looms out of this as I could in um, kind of some standard uh, standard sizes that I would use and so just to show you what I'm working on what I've been working on is um, I started with doing their loom knit tweety hat um, but it's supposed to be done with two strands of number five bulky and I used a super um, bulky uh, number six and so in a um, garter stitch and I ended up thinking that it was too big and it stops about 50 uh, rows about here so I added another 25 on and I'm about to cast off and so I'm gonna make this into a cowl and I'm sure it actually shrink up a little bit if I had used the right yarn that they wanted although I think it might be still a little loose but um, let's see we've done it as a large gauge here I've got the two half round connectors and four of these larger 12 connectors and if you're gonna make a hat I would suggest eliminating this connector here and this connector here and shrink this oval down for an adult size hat and if you're going to do a child or youth size just use the two half round circles here semicircles and so I got that out of all the pieces here and I'm using every other peg in the pink peg to get the gauge of a large and then I'm going to do a test here oops I'm sorry and I've got the two longest connectors and then the two U-shaped connectors on the end for a very long double rake. And if you, as you see, what I've done is I've added in the smaller gauge pegs every hole and then every other hole for the large gauge. And I wanted to see how, um, how it's going to knit up. So that's another project I'm going to work on. And then this one right here, which I've now destroyed wanted to show you these were the leftover pieces and so it allowed me to make a small weave and I here's a trick so they all come like this and then you've got this connector here the male part into the female part <laughs> and then you notice that you have this half round circle here where it actually connects and joins is on the other side of this so when you start putting in your pegs don't start by just trying to connect them right here because it won't actually connect what you want to do is go on the other side so I suggest you when you first start connecting your stuff you want to get out however many connectors you're going to get and then go ahead and set aside so I have eight parts here I have four corners and there's six pegs in the corners and then six, um, four six peg connectors so I've got eight pieces and I'm going to get eight of these uh, pegs that I'm going to use and I'm going to put in right in front of the semicircles and connect all of them and go around. I want to do that first and get my loom all together, put together. And then what you want to do is take your contrasting color. It comes with, for the smaller gauge, it comes with some gray to be your marker peg to show you where the beginning is. Since you don't have like a little knob on the side that tells you where to start, um, you can use these as stitch markers for specialty stitches. And then for the large gauge, it comes with a um, kind of a green color for that marker and then the pink and there's a whole bunch of these and as you can see I've already used a bunch of pink on these over here so what I've got is eight of these to connect this together and then I'm gonna put my little marker peg where it's supposed to start when you weave this you actually leave off all the corners and then you only use the one on one corner to connect and you start with a um, slip knot and put it on there and uh, I can make a tutorial on this later for you and then you just start filling in all the other holes with your extra pegs uh, if you're curious what I made this with this is a combination acrylic and cotton it's actually called Cottonese from Lion Brand and uh, this is what the label looks like 
and it's got 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, and I've got lime right here and terracotta. And the colors look really great together. And I'm going to do a couple of these together and do a baby blanket. And then I'm going to do a, a third contrasting color to weave in. And this one's called Violet. So I think these colors are going to look really nice together. So you may see a few projects coming up on that. And that is all for now. But I wanted to show you how these things go together and kind of the best way to do it. And then once you get them all in, several people have said... What they do is take the whole thing over and then press it down really hard to get these pegs in. Now, I haven't had a problem with them. I have, um, when I was working on this cowl, um, every so often, if I'm pulling hard, then this one might come up just a hair, and then I'll just kind of push it down, but it wasn't um, actually coming up. And then here's another little thing when you're knitting over and everything, these little top parts, well, they're nice um, versus on the other long loom, the pegs are kind of... Uh, small they're actually um, slicker than these and these are actually a little bit longer and so these don't slip off the yarn doesn't slip off as easy as with the um, other uh, other nifty knitter product so I kind of like them they have a nice deep uh, gouge on them and then the knitting tool uh, is thinner and it can grab everything um, easier but um, some people have said that they're allergic to latex and it's having a little bit of a problem and then um, the pick is bending just a little bit so um, but those are the only things um, really if I'm going to have something with a nice um, really tight knit um, I'm just going to go ahead and use a different tool but for the most part I've really enjoyed these tools and um, I hope you have fun with it thanks for tuning in to Good Knit Kisses Happy looming!